numerous devices supposedly achieve super efficiency rates by recycling excess energy through closed loop systems. I built the world's most efficient heat pump and uh, developed it. And these are the evaporators for that heat pump right here. They're eight feet high, three feet wide. Now, the refrigerant we put in here boils at 40 degrees below zero. Therefore, any time, day or night, outside in a, rain, in a rainstorm or in a windstorm or hailstorm or a snowstorm, or just out on a nice hot sunny day or in the middle of a cold night, as long as the refrigerant that's inside this panel is colder than whatever the air is out here or the phenomenon that's hitting this panel, then the heat from the air or the sun or the wind or the rain or the sneet or the snow will be transferred into the refrigerant on the other side because it's the second law of thermodynamics. Hot goes to cold. So if this is the coldest thing outside, anything out there that touches it is going to give its heat to it. A little bit of heat goes a long way. That gas starts expanding like crazy, and as it expands, it then is drawn into the compressor, not through suction. I've got engineers and inventors that don't like to use the term suction, but through negative pressure. So as the compressor is creating this negative pressure, the gas is migrating to it. And so a compressor is a gas pump. It'll pump gas. And so the gas is being pumped by the compressor into the compressor, elevated in temperature. And even though if you touch this panel, it's ice cold to your hand. And if you touch the line going out of the panel, it's still ice cold to your hand. When it hits that compressor, the compressor takes all the gas in this space, puts it in that space, elevates the pressure and the temperature. Going out of the compressor, do not touch that line whenever that thing is on because it's 200 to 250 degrees hot. Built the steam, built, proved that they built the steam engine wrong. I had the pleasure of building his unit in my research lab and we took his great big unit because why wouldn't I want a great big one? I don't want to put everybody on the grid system with a new system that can exploit them some more with all the arrogance that comes with it. I wanted to give people the opportunity to be totally independent of the grid system. Remember, that was my goal. So we took the big one we had and we scaled it down into a model not much, a little bit smaller than this one. It was a little smaller than this. It was about that long. It's about 13 inches long, six inches in diameter. And that one was going to be big enough to be able to power all the energy you needed for your house. And so I didn't want one bigger than that. I went across the United States of America telling my story. I told it in every state of the United States and I got a thousand people to join me telling my story. We put a media ad campaign together because the media wouldn't cover it. So we ran commercials. And we did a 60 second commercial cutting a power line and saying you can power your house with no electricity, external electricity, run your car with a new engine that runs with no gasoline. We did a 60 second commercial nationwide. As far as we can tell, about 10 million people saw it. And after that happened, that was too much. That couldn't be tolerated. And so I got a letter from the state of California inviting me to come back to California to go to court. So I flew back from New Jersey to California to go to court. And when I walked into the court, the judge said, you're probably wondering why you're here. And I said, yes, I am. And he said, well, because I've been ordered by the state of California to put you in prison. And I said, well, that's really interesting. You're putting me in prison, but I've never been convicted of the crime. <laughs> How do I go to prison without a trial and without being convicted? And I said, you can't do that, can you? And he said, well, he says, I've been ordered by the state of California to put you in prison, so that's where you're going. But Sounds like you got a hell of a case for appeal. That, by the way, is a quote. And I do have the transcript. I walked out of prison two years ago, and now we have rebuilt our whole national network of distribution of distributors. We're in every state of the United States. We're in every major county of the United States. We have people now who understand exactly how the government works, exactly how the big boys work, exactly how the energy companies work. And we've got it all figured out. And we've got far, far, far more technology than we ever had in 1987. We got a lot more money than we ever had in 1987. And we're about to rock your world.